Hello everyone, welcome to Bayern Now, the ultimate Bayern Munich fan channel. This video is personal to me. The Zeri Doey. How dare you? How dare you, you stupid bum picking PSG over Bayern? What's up then, man? What's up? I'm ready to square up, man. All that propaganda I did for you? Come on, what's up, man? What's... Uh, we have to do everything in our power to keep Vidovic because the streets, like everyone's saying it, he is the Croatian Zidane. That's what they're saying. I mean, I guess I'm saying it too. But that's what they're saying. And I have to agree. Like, Vidovic is like Ronaldinho with a European passport, man. That's what happened. Ronaldinho, like, he gave up his Brazilian citizenship and somehow lives in a white boy's body in Croatia. You know, he would be like a transgender Zidane. Look at the aura, by the way. Let's look at aura. This is what you, what you Google and you see when you, you know, Google Aura. But like, okay, look at this finish, man. Oh, my gosh. That's a beautiful finish. Vidovic with a great finish right there, man. Look at this. That's Yogo Bonito, man. I don't know how they say it in Croatian, but, like, it would probably not sound as cool. It would be like, like, come on. I'm just trying to say the beautiful game. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. I think my, my screen is limiting. You guys know what I mean, right? It's limiting this, so I'll I'll take it off. Yeah, let's just take it out of here. And let's move me to the bottom. Yeah, that works. I'll be in the corner like Sneeko, my boy. Now look at the look at the ability. Oh my gosh! Look at the ability. This is what I call unnecessary finesse. I mean, this guy is just cooking for no reason. You know, a girl. You know, a girl really loves you when she cooks for you when you're not even hungry, man. That's what he's doing. He's giving us unnecessary skill moves look this is why i say teammates matter vidovich does all this cooking right oh beautiful passes simple pass back to him his teammate overcooks the pass and you know he has to go press for it teammates matter and vidovich had 10 goal contributions in 27 games about a goal contribution i think every 200 minutes for zagreb he has to come back to Bayern and get a real chance, you know? Some players don't have to get 30 goals on loan to prove themselves. I think he proved himself in a lesser team, I guess in a lesser league, but, you know, technically this team is supposed to be the best in their league too. The point I'm making is, at Bayern, he's going to play with ballers, and he is a baller, you know? He's a baller. I bet you if you sent Muziala on loan to a club like Zagreb, he would not be the Muziala we know today. Sometimes certain players just need you to give him a chance right away. And Vidovic, I think, has earned his chance. He has to be in considerations for starting next season, honestly. I think he's better than Kingsley Coman. He's better than Gnabry, if I'm being honest. Like, in terms of what he can offer. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he's getting paid like peanuts every week. Gnabry and Coman are getting paid millions of dollars, and Vidovic is doing more or if not the same as them. That's my point. I don't mean like, you know, his career. I mean in terms of what he's giving us as a player being here. So the, the contract situation is weird because Bayern want to extend Vidovic's contract, but Vidovic is like, yo, I want to extend if you don't send me on loan. I don't want to go to on loan. I want to prove myself to company. Vincent Company has the power to say, okay, we'll keep him and he'll play and get a chance next season or go away. This is the problem. Vidovic could easily go to like a, you know, like a, a PSV, right? In the era divise. He could easily go there and just have the season of his life at 21 years old. Cause he's 20 now and he's going to be 21. Let's say he has the season of his life. Now other clubs are going to be like, yo, we want, we want to make you our main player. Come over here. And now we're selling him for like $20 because we're, we're bad at selling. And, and we're going to regret not giving him a chance. So, look, it's as simple as this. He clearly has qualities. So he's, he's always going to be sellable. Like, let's say you give him a season. And let's say he doesn't perform. You can always loan him out again and sell him. Or just let him go for free. Because, you know, it's not like we spent $100 million to buy him. All we did was get him, and you know, through our academy system. And, you know, he didn't perform. And if he does, then we're happy. 
By the way, I think his ceiling is high, man. I think he could be one of the best players of his generation, honestly. No, I think he has so many skills, like so much in his like locker, right? He just has that. Look at the finish there, man. That's a beautiful finish, honestly. Like, think about it. Like, he had to curl that ball to the far right corner, man. That's beautiful. I mean, near post finishes, he has it. The passing, the finesse, the weight of passing, he has it all. The IQ. I mean, there's this one moment here where he receives the ball, right, for making that run he made in behind. First of all, perfectly timed run because that could have easily been offside, right? This run right here, that could have easily been offside, but he made a really good run. And instead of opening up his body to shoot, like 90% of players would do in the situation, he opens up his body to pass, right? He, he touches the ball in a way to pass because there's no way you touch the ball you know, the way the the pass was made, you know, it's made to, I mean, I guess you could volley it first time, but he had, he knew, all right, I could either touch this towards the goalkeeper and risk losing it, or my teammate is running in behind. And he had to be intelligent to know that his teammate was running. Very smart, man, very wise. And then just a simple pass and a tap in. This is what intelligent footballers do. Messi does that. You'll see Messi, you know, beat the offside trap, receive the ball, and instead of just shooting as a first instinct, he just passes it to Suarez, and it's a goal. It happens all the time at the highest levels. I think Vidovic has what it takes. Bayern have to give him a real chance. Like, no more loans, okay? I want Zergzi, but a version of Zergzi that stays here and doesn't have to go on loan to prove himself. What I'm saying is, you know, Vidovic isn't Zergzi, but I'm saying I want a player who is as revered as Zergzi is right now at Manchester United. The guy got to move. He, he really succeeded because he went on loan and then he left the loan and got sold to Bologna. Then he's at Manchester United and he's going to be their starting striker, I think. That's what I want with Vidovic, but I want him to just stay here and achieve all of that. That's what I mean by I, I want Zergzi. I mean, I wouldn't mind Zergzi in the future. I think he's a Bayern fan, and he, he would love to prove himself at the club, especially if he succeeds at Manchester United. Vidovic, I mean, he's also a Bayern fan. They These guys grew up in the system. They've been here since they were 12. You know, him, Pavlovic, and the other guys, they would love to be here and prove themselves. I mean, Pavlovich has kind of already done that. I think I think Vidovic can kind of mold himself to be a Luka Modric. What I mean by that is he's so technically gifted that, you know, his ability to get out of pressure with good touches can almost be wasted in attack as a winger. You know, he's not really a winger to me. He's more of a all-out number eight, like an attacking number eight, an advanced eight or ten. You know, that's where I put him, right? If I had a midfield three, I would have a player like Vidovic in my midfield because he has a work rate. He, he can run around and do stuff. But at the same time, he's very technically gifted so he can get out of pressure and link the attack to the defense and then score goals. I think he could kind of do that. I think he's going to play more as a 10, more as a winger as well. I mean, the game against Spurs, the finish was so intelligent. He's playing like a 30-year-old who has gone through everything. So, hey, I, I just keep him, bro. Keep Vidovic. Screw, you know, Doey. Just trust the team. I mean, I hated the fact that we sold DeLitt, but now we're going to be looking at some third-option winger. That's going to be annoying. If I'm being real, man, we made such a big mistake selling DeLitt. So stupid. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Mia, send Mia in peace.